One love, Rastafari. Bless you. This is Freelance Chucky from Jamaica. Today, we're going to prepare and show you how to do jerk chicken in Jamaica, okay? And this is the grill. But first, we're going to take it to the shop. I can't break and let them fix it. But this, to be honest with you, original, it was to be a gas buckle. When I say gas buckle, I mean the gas buckle that you put on the gas stove and cook. We call it cylinder in Jamaica. But in Jamaica, we always go outside the box and create ways to do things, you know. And it's just like that, you know. And you can make nice, good smoked chicken from it. So I hope the people will enjoy it a lot. Okay? Blessed love. Blessed love. And we're going to jump on the motorbike and head up to Port Antonio now to get some seasoning, skelly and all different things, you know, ingredients to come back and marinate everything, you know. So now we go on the hammer, you know, to get out the motorbike from the house now, you know. Let's go. Yes, we just leave the house on the motorbike and make it to the welder shop and give my welder friend here. See, it's breaking it off to put on the new one. This is the replacement, you know. You're going to replace it, you know. That's what you can do what you have to do today with the jerk pan, okay? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is the welder when we ride and drop it off and it fix the hole and repair it just like this, you know. Super good again, you know. Ready back for the grill to jerk chicken now, you know. Yeah. So we're going to leave it here till when we come back, we're going to stop and pick it up, okay? Not going to take it to Port Antonio, okay? Yeah, well, yeah. Just arrived at Freshco in the supermarket, just ordering some chicken. We, we'd like four pounds, a, a mixed pot. Four pounds, a mixed pot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, chicken. Oh, no yeah, man, me, you, yes, man. Just do your thing, man. All right. All right, bless. And some spice. This is the one we need, you know. We just make it to the market in Port Antonio right. to pick up some ingredients, you know, like onion, scallion, thyme, and scotch bonnet pepper, you know, to go back now and sort out this jerk chicken back at home, okay? That's it. So we just made it back now from Port Antonio, you know, back with all the ingredients we want now to do this jerk chicken, you know. So everything is right here now on the table, okay? So now we are about to start to cut up all the seasoning and put them together in this super nice bowl here, you know. But first, we're gonna use half of the onion, just like this. Thyme, good for the jerk chicken spice, you know. Thyme, we call it in Jamaica, thyme, you know. We call this pimenta. Normally, it grow on a tree, you know. So when we pick it from the tree and put it to dry, and then you go to the market if you don't have the tree, and you can purchase this one at the market, you know. But it's good for the spice, you know. Put in the jerk chicken, bring a real good, nice flavor, you know. Just like this. Well, now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cooking vegetable oil. We brought it from the supermarket. And now we're gonna add half a cup of water inside the seasoning, just like this. Jerk spice, you know, we're gonna put inside the seasoning what we make here for the jerk, you know. So now we're gonna put it, pour it inside right now. Well, basically, you know, say preparing jerk chicken, you need to wash the chicken before you do anything like season and all these things. So, just like this, we wash it, you know. Now, 
Now it's time to marinate the chicken, so now we're going to pour it on it, just like this. Marinate the chicken so you have to shake it, you know, to make the seasoning go around inside it, you know, and soak inside the chicken, you know. That means that when it's finished, you can really get a nice super chicken to eat, you know. Nice spicy chicken, you know. We're going to put the marinated chicken in the fridge for a couple of hours, okay, just like this. And then outside back and prepare the fire. This is the breadfruit we're gonna roast as a side dish to eat with the jerk chicken, okay? And we're gonna roast it right here on the wood fire outside. Now it's time to put the chicken on the grill. Just like this. When the jerk in the chicken, smoke is very, very important for the chicken, you know, because the smoke brings up the flavor with the spice and everything, bring up the flavor a lot, you know. So you, when you finish, you can get really a good, super taste of jerk chicken. When you close it down like this, the temperature really get more cooler, you know. And when you open it like this, it get more hotter, you know. So that's the only way you can control the temperature with the jerk chicken, you know. But when it's finished, you will get a really super nice flavor of jerk chicken on the table to eat, you know. Yeah, man. Just like that. What we do here in Jamaica, we just put the rest of my nails on the chicken, you know, before it gets so dry, you know. Just like this, you know. So now I'm going to peel the bread food and prepare to put with the jerk chicken on the side. That's how we prepare it here in Jamaica, okay? So right now I'm starting to peel the bread food just like this. This is the complete jerk chicken and roast bread food what we do in Jamaica just like this. And freelance Chucky will try it now just like this, okay? I love it so much, you know. I just continue to eat this every day. And the bread food, ah, super nice. Super nice. Yeah, yeah man, this is our, this our thing. And that's how we do it in Jamaica, you know. Roast bread food and jerk chicken. That's the way we roll here in freelance jockey place in Jamaica. Super nice. Mm. I can't stop eating this, you know. So delicious. So delicious, you know. Alice Pla.